Chris. Hi, Duna. Thank you so much yeah, no problem. for doing this. Thank you, this. Thank you for doing this. You. Good to meet you. It seems like something you probably oh, you get accustomed keep to it. hearing. Yeah, really? but you get accustomed to it. It's an amazing, like I say, it's an amazing thing how accustomed you get to life in prison. I mean, it's sad to say, but you do. So this is, this is it. This is not what I expected no. at all. This is home. Yeah. Away from home. So how many other people are in here with 54, you? 54, 56 other people. So it's crowded. Yeah. Packed. It sucks. I mean, you do the best that you can. Yeah. You know, with everything that you have. This is pretty much my home. And this is it? This is it, right here. This is all she wrote. Not a lot of space. No, none. But you get the little conveniences of home, pillow, blanket, TV, fan. This is pretty small. It's not enjoyable to be an arm length away from another man. This is probably the size of something I slept in when I was a kid. Yeah, and this is what I've been living on for 20 years. I've been in this unit since November of last year, so what, four months? When you first came to prison, it was, you, the setup wasn't like this. No, no. I, as soon as I came to prison, I went to the maximum security here in Idaho for the first three years of my sentence. What was that like? Scary. To actually be around killers, you know, rapists, people that beat people up and stuff like that. Is there anything about this experience that has made you a better man? I've had to grow up. Growing up in here, you realize that what you can or cannot handle. Emotionally, physically, you know, mentally. In here, I've grown up to where I know what I can or cannot do now. Out there, I, I can't decide because I don't know what it's like to be out there.